Hi there, welcome to my channel IFY Studio. So today we will learn something about view binding. So view binding is one of the best features that allows you to more easily write a cleaner code that interacts with the views. So once view binding is enabled in a module, it generates a binding class for each XML layout file present in that module. So with view binding, you don't have to worry about initializing and declaration of views uh, by using find view by ID inside your code file. You can just uh, forget about all those previous implementation that you used to do. So with view binding, you can straight away initialize the binding file, uh, which gets auto generated with your uh, activity of fragment. And with the instance of that binding, you can easily find all the views which you have uh, uh, placed inside your XML file, and you can attach those views and do whatever operations you want to. So let's take an example and understand that how view binding works. For example, so whenever you create an activity, so let's say you have created an uh, activity dot main, which by default gets generated whenever you create a new project. And inside that activity, you have initialized some views. You have you have created some buttons or card views or uh, uh, some any any view you want of your choice uh, when this view binding is turned on it automatically creates an instance of the same layout file with the name of activity main binding so with this activity main binding it contains all the properties and instances of the views that you have uh, con that are contained inside the your layout file uh, and another good feature of view binding is that previously with find view by ID we used to deal with uh, null checks we have to uh, put everything inside that null check code that if that's not present you have to perform some actions but with a uh, view binding it's completely null safe and type safe and uh, and the good thing is this is supported in both Java and Kotlin and view binding also helps to reduce the boilerplate code and also reduce the code redundancy so now your code will also automatically will get shorter cleaner and more human readable so let's see how this works so we are here inside our android studio and as you can see when we in our last video we created this project aws android application which uh, generated one uh, main dot activity file where we are going to write a code and uh, one layout file in which uh, we'll be initializing some views. So let's see how this uh, view binding works. So in order to work with view binding, you have to go inside your Gradle scripts and you have to find this module level build dot Gradle. So once you get inside this module level build dot Gradle, in the end of this uh, Android tag, you have to add one more tag which says build features, and you have to view binding is equal to true that's it and you have to sync it once so once your gradle file is synced up you have to come inside your main.activity file um, activity main file and you have to include this piece of code so initialize the variable so latent it var main binding so when your view binding is on you will automatically be getting this activity main binding instance inside your um, uh, kotlin file uh, just add it and then private while binding and add a getter with main binding that's it and in this you have to initialize which was late in it uh, with activity main binding dot inflate and here you just have to include the layout inflator so this will automatically give you the uh, layout which is attached with this activity main file you don't require to add this layout in this so all you have to do is do binding dot root so this will attach uh, the xml file to this binding variable so now if there will be any views inside your activity main you will be easily retrieving this by using this uh, by, from the binding variable so let's just uh, declare some views uh, what you can say let's do some material button wrap content wrap content text i am button one button one 
that's it and don't uh, don't forget to add an id because without an id it won't be able to uh, adapt to this views so id say button um, submit okay uh, id is equal to here button submit let's declare one more button i'm button two Hmm. Yeah. It's done. Go back to your main file. Now binding dot. So here they are. So one thing you have might have noticed that inside our IDs we have added an underscore as well, but here there is no underscore. So this is uh, a feature of view binding. So whatever ID you create inside your XML file, it will remove all the uh, spaces and underscores from there, and it will generate a simple camel case uh, uh, naming uh, for your views. So button submit dot set on click listener and see. That's it. This is how you use view binding.